unless you're brand loyal and that's just something you use. See, you'll pay $3 for it. At this store, it shows it's $3.50 for that specific kind. Um, so you'll pay $3 for it. But I don't clip those. You know, I'm, I'm really trying to save money. I ain't trying to save too many little, too little pennies, you know. $2 off Colgate. Let's see. I scroll through. I click on the coupon, then scroll through. See if it's going to give us any toothpaste for free or with overage. Um, if it doesn't, I don't really clip it. Um, sometimes I do in the store. If I can't find a lot of filler items and a lot of those cheap and freebies, and I'm doing a 5 out 25, I'll go ahead and clip it in the store. And I'll get the next best thing. And right here, it's looking like the next best thing is this Colgate Max for $3.25. I'll clip that $2 off and pay $1.25 for that. That's if I'm doing a 5 off 25. And I explained to you guys in the Family Dollar video, um, you're really not spending $25 if you get $25 worth of stuff. So say you got this cotton nail, the Chic Razor, the Colgate, the Scott, and you only went in for the Scott. Right? You only went in for the Scott. Let's say the Scott is $17.95. And it's only giving you a dollar off. Okay? But you need to get up to $25 to get that extra $5 off. So $17. And then the toothpaste and that. That makes you $25. So now you're up to $25. Before tax. So now when you type in your number $5, it's going to come off for having $25 worth of stuff. $4 is going to come off for the Shake Razors. $2 is going to come off. So what is that, 9, 10, 11, 11? Now, $12 is going to come off for um, the Scott paper towels. So now you're paying less than you would have paid if you would have went in and just got the $17.95 worth of Scott. So just do 25 minus 12, okay? So you're paying $12 or $13 for everything. Versus if you just would have went in and got that Scott and just got a dollar off. So you understand how that 5 off 25 helps us get our value down. You didn't really need the Colgate or the Chic Razors. But to get that extra $5 off, you needed to throw in other items that you got coupons for to get that total to just drop, drop, drop. $5 come off first, then the $4, $2, $1. Then you're good. That's how we get our total to drop. It's really that simple. Um, let's see. This is normally a good coupon. Let me see how much the packs are. Okay, so it's not the ones that I thought. Um, well, they went up a little bit. Five thirty-five. So just say ten seventy for two of them, and you get six dollars off. That's kind of a good filler item. A big chunk is coming off. Six dollars. You got to buy two packs. See, six off any two. So that's a um, good filler item, you know, to get your total up to 25. So if you only needed, um, if you were at 15 and you needed 10 more dollars worth of stuff, that Colgate is a good filler item because they're 535 a piece. So that's 1070. That's getting you up to 25, a little over 25, but you're still good. So. All the items, you don't have to have a coupon for every single item. You can be going in there, and I always make this example, to get a broom or a mop or a barbecue grill. If it's $20, get five more dollars worth of stuff that you have coupons for. So when that five off 25 come off, the $5 won't go to something that you really don't want, like the toothpaste and stuff. You already got a coupon for the toothpaste. So that five off 25 is going to go towards your barbecue grill. That extra $5 that's coming off is going to come off your grill because you don't have coupons for that. So that's why you want to make sure you have coupons for your other items. So the 5 off 25 can go towards something that you don't have a coupon for, like a broom, a mop, or a grill. You know, something they never give us coupons for. I'm hoping you guys understand, but if not, always ask questions. Don't please with me. Don't pretend like you understand. I will not get offended if you ask questions. Now, if you ask questions on something I've already answered and kind of made it clear, then I know you haven't watched the whole video. And you got to watch because I be teaching y'all. Um, I'm going to clip this $3 off one poise because we have rebates for these a lot. 
It may be for Dollar General. It may only be for CVS or Walgreens, but I'm going to just clip it. Dollar off Oral-B. Let's see if it's the dollar one, if it's attached. Yep, but it's out of stock at this store. See all those dollar ones? So this tooth, these toothbrushes right here would have been free. And anytime you clip on a product, if you scan a product, you see that barcode in the right-hand corner up there by the little search circle? You clip on that barcode to scan an item in your store. You can scan a tag or a barcode on an item. And when you scan it, this screen right here will pop up, and it'll show you if you scroll up a little bit like that, if you have a coupon for that item that you just scanned. And if so, you just click Add to Wallet and add it. If you have these Oral-B Bright Clean Toothbrushes, in your store you'll get it free that's another great filler item or you can just go in and buy the toothbrush by itself and pay tax and get it free if you have the Oral-B Healthy Clean the old uh, model there it is right there see they got these new ones out now they look like this now but um, in some stores they still have this one okay and out of stock never go by that a lot of times they're wrong um, especially if it says like 10 in stock, sometimes they might only have three in stock. Sometimes when it says out of stock, they may have 12 in stock when you walk in the store and you're, you're scanning the item, you're looking right at it. So, you know, it's not out of stock because you're in the actual store right now. So a lot of times that is wrong when it says something is out of stock. So if you're sitting home wondering and looking on the app to see if something in stock and you decide not to go to the store because it says out of stock, you may have just missed out. Most likely you have. The Dollar General, see how it says DG Store Coupon? This is a coupon from the actual store. So Dollar General is giving you a dollar off two of these Coca-Cola products right here. So you have to buy two of these to get a dollar off, right? Now, if Coca-Cola was actually to give you a coupon in the newspaper or here on the app, you can use both coupons on the two bottles. You can use the Dollar General store coupon to get a dollar off. And if Coca-Cola gave you a um, dollar off, you can use that as well. So you'll get a total of $2 off. You can always, always, always use a store coupon and a manufactured coupon on the same product in the same transaction. Don't let a cashier tell you you can't do that. Okay? You can always do that because you're not double dipping. It's not two manufactured coupons. You can use one from the store and one from the manufacturer. And the manufacturer is the person that actually makes the product. So I'm going to clip Add to Wallet just in case we get a coupon from Coca-Cola later this week. Or maybe it's already on here and I haven't seen it yet. I don't know. But I can clip on this lemonade to see. And that's the only coupon I see as of right now.